Hi everyone, here we have this nice math problem. From this equation, we want to find the value of n. Our equation is n square minus n cubed equals 150. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get started. Our first step is to move 150 to the left hand side. So we have n square minus n cubed minus 150 equals 0. Now let's split this 150 according to these two exponents. So n square minus n cubed minus bracket 25 plus 125 bracket equals 0. Now let's take negative inside the bracket. So n square minus n cubed minus 25 minus 125 equals 0. And now 25 is 5 square and 125 can be written as 5 cubed. n square minus n cubed. Okay, minus 5 square minus 5 cubed equals 0. Now let's write minus 5 square next to n square. n square minus 5 square minus minus n cubed minus 5 cubed. Negative is common. So negative bracket n cubed plus 5 cubed bracket equals 0. Here we have a difference of two squares form. So as we know a square minus b square is equal to bracket a plus b bracket bracket a minus b such that a is n and b is 5. So we have a plus b n plus 5 n plus 5 times n minus 5 okay minus this bracket okay we have here sum of two cubes so a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square okay let's apply this rule here so a plus b bracket a plus b n plus 5 n plus 5 bracket bracket a square n square minus a times b which is 5 times n 5n plus b square which is 5 square and 5 square is 25 equals 0 and here n plus 5 is common between these two terms so we can factor it n plus 5 times here we have n minus 5 minus n square minus negative 5n which is plus 5n minus 25 equals 0 so we have n plus 5 times minus n square n plus 5 n is plus 6 n minus 5 minus 25 is minus 30 equals 0. Here the product of two terms is equal to 0. So either the first term is 0 or the second term. Okay. 
n plus 5 is equal to 0 or minus n square plus 6n minus 30 equals 0. Here n will be equal to minus 5. This is our first value for n. And here let's divide both sides by negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 1. Okay, so we have n square minus 6n plus 30 equals 0. Here we have a quadratic equation such that a is 1, b is negative 6, and c is 30. Here n will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a which is equal to minus b minus minus 6 is 6 plus or minus square root of b square minus 6 square is 36 minus 4 times a 4 times 1 times c times 30 which equals minus 120 over 2 times 1 which is 2 so n is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 120 is minus 84 over 2 and this is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 84 can be written as 4 times 21 times negative 1 okay over 2 and this is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 21 times the square root of minus 1 which is i over 2 okay and this is equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus or minus 2 over 2 is 1 so a square root of 21 times i okay we have here two complex solutions finally we have three solutions one real solution and two complex solutions so n1 is minus 5 n1 is minus 5 n2 is 3 plus i times the square root of 21 and n3 is 3 minus i times the square root of 21 thank you for watching my video until the end see you in the next video